Surf a fence post. Forget the gear and focus on attitude. Let's see what you got. Yeah, total domination! Oh! And she's dead. <coughs> Woo! Maybe you're right. Who needs expensive surf gear? Um, Emma? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <coughs> Whoa, what was that? Okay, maybe you could use an actual wetsuit. YOLO, want to play some volleyball? Sorry, going on a love drive. You have a car? No, Daddy's still mad that I took my Jeep for a drive in the pool. So the Reefster borrowed a Roadster. Come on, babe, let's give it some gas. <laughs> gas! <laughs> It's like two toads checking each other's tonsils. Hey, happy birthday. It's not my birthday. Well, then why were you wearing your birthday suit? <laughs> yeah, you definitely need a wetsuit. Aw, oh, man, I don't have any money. Emma, you're 3.5 minutes late for work. Um, sir, would now be a bad time to ask for a raise? Uh, I don't know. Would now be a bad time to make you director of toilet scrubbing? Uh, punching in right now, sir. And as for you... Day off. Day on. Mr. Ridgemount needs a caddy. Come on, you know I hate golf. Why do you think I picked you? Okay, Georgie boy, make your putt. Ugh, Dad, I suck at this. Can't we just play video game golf? I made you an avatar. Son, golf is not a game. It's a test of skill, of manhood, of character. You saw nothing. Now, get in there and putt like a man. What the heck was that? Did you not listen to my fatherly golf wisdom? What is wrong with you? <laughs> I hate golf and I hate you! <laughs> I just want my boy to love me. Is that too much to ask? No. Wanting him to play golf? Now that is too much to ask. <sighs> yeah! Hi, Daddy! Look, dude! No hands! Great. My boy's allergic to golf, and my girl's dating a surf monkey. <laughs> totally. I mean, what possible future could Reef and Lowe have together? Father-in-law, dude. Me and the babe are flying first class to Mars for the weekend. Watch the Reef tuplets for us. Dude! Oh, I've got to do something before that shelf-haired slacker pees in my family's gene pool. Come on. How bad of a son-in-law could Reef be? Ah! Ah! Yo, crazy head guy. Where you at? Whoa! Hey, there you are. I like your face, dude. I like your face too, dude. I'm gonna call you Carl. Yes, guy, sweet name You know it. Man, you don't shower much, huh, Carl? Not so much, dude. I like that.
two hundred bucks for a wetsuit. Oh, but I can't have everyone calling me No Bikini Betty. What's up, girl? Want to catch a flick with me and Carl? Who's Carl? Is he cute? <laughs> Broseph, I'd say that thing smells like butt, but that would be insulting to butts. Shh! You'll hurt Carl's feelings. Yeah. Two tickets, please. One for me and one for my boy Carl. Puke! Hey, why is everyone harshing on Carl? No, dude. Carl is puke. Will puke. Ambergris. Ambergris is made deep in a whale's belly. And after Mr. Whale's had a particularly rough night, it comes up and takes a bow. Ambergris stinks, but it's super rare and makes amazing perfume. I know folks who would pay a fortune for that little puke ball. A fortune? Like enough for a new wetsuit? Enough for a gold wetsuit with diamond zippers. How much you want for it? Carl's not for sale. You can't put a price on friendship. Dude, so true, dude. Yeah, that'll be ten bucks for the tickets. Did you hear that? A gold wetsuit. Girlfriend, you gotta get yourself a piece of that Carl guy. You know, an evil chin stroke works a lot better with a beard. See? Man, I'm feeling eviler already. <laughs> <laughs> a surprise? Oh, I love surprises. Is it jewelry? A personal assistant. Oh, a dog I can fit in my change purse. Ta-da! No way! That's right, it's a new car! Whoa, sweet ride. Forget the Jeep you carelessly drove into the pool. This luxury sports coupe features a hybrid engine, 3D game console, and a cream soda dispenser, and it's all yours. As soon as you dump that surf bum. Lo, don't do it. Can't you see he's just trying to bribe you? Hi, Reef. It's Lo. We're done. <laughs> Not see that coming. Rosef, hey, I was thinking. I'm not selling Carl. You didn't let me finish. Okay, go. You should sell Carl. No deal. Come on, you can use the money. For what? Uh, to buy me a wetsuit? Sorry, Carl's my boy, and it's on me to keep him in one piece. Now, excuse me while I leave him in this fridge alone and unattended while I use the little bro's room. Back in five. Make that ten. Go on. Just give the Stinko a little haircut. Think of the wetsuit. Bro will never know. Emma, you can't. Broseph found Carl. He's his best friend. Uh, reality check? Carl is whale puke. Sorry, good me. I'm with bad me on this one. Ha <gasps> <laughs> ha! Burn! Hold still, Carl. I'll just take a little off the top. <coughs> you bought Lo a car? That's so not fair. You're the worst dad ever. Oh, fine. I'll get you something, too. What do you want? An African pygmy hedgehog named Rick. Done. Bummer. Get my boy a hedgehog. Sir? Just make it happen. Whatever it takes to buy my boy's love. Yes, sir. Hey, Miss Moneybags. Yeah, had some big tippers at lunch. <laughs> some very big tippers. Can you believe Lo chose a new car over Reef? <sighs> some people just have no conscience. Yeah, <laughs> you don't say. Yo, doofus, put the cash away. So, um, you must be psyched that Reef's back on the market. What's that supposed to mean? You know, your huge crush on him. Oh, please! Like, I would ever crush on that annoying, self-centered, big-haired, fun-to-be-around, totally cut, haughty... <clears throat> I just feel sorry for that dorkwad is all. The dorkwad looks okay to me. Ugh, the nerve of that girl! She takes a bribe mobile from Daddy, and then she hooks up with Reef again? I beg your pardon? Wow, gee, look at the time. <laughs> Did I say she hooks up with Reef? I meant she looks up to Beef. Yes, Beef. Truly an inspiring ah! meet. Pedal to the metal! <laughs> <laughs> 
does it! Had to break into Captain Ron Zoo to find him. Got bit by a cobra, injected with deadly venom. But I did it! <laughs> I believe I asked for an African pygmy hedgehog. One wetsuit, please. Really? You want that one? Yeah. Why? What's wrong with it? Nothing if you want to surf like a dead squid. Now that suit, on the other hand, that is the next level. For just a hundred bucks more, you can slide into computer-engineered microfiber neoprene that'll basically turn you into a human shark. Yo, girl, watch Carl while I grab a sesh. I tried to surf with him, but the smell was making the fish puke. Sure, bro. No problem. <laughs> What? Stop looking at me like that. You look good with a haircut. Come on, just a bit more. A hundred bucks worth. What's the harm? Carl would look nice with a crew cut. Emma, no! Haven't you taken enough? Go away, good me. Now is not the time. Excuse me, I'll give it right back. Carl? Carl? Bad day? Or are you just beating up your brain? Uh, I may have said something to Mr. R that I should have kept to myself. Ow! Sorry, mints are for the guests only. Seriously? Bummer makes me count them. Ah, Finn, there you are. <laughs> Mr. Ridgemount wants to see you. He does? What for? To thank you for alerting me to this whole reef and low thing. We've got it all under control. Really? How? I just had Bomber drop the papers. I'm having a reef fired! Oh, yeah! Oh, <laughs> oh, this is fantastic! Yep, your brain definitely deserves that. They're going to fire a reef, and it's kind of my fault. Yes, if by kind of, you mean 100% totally? <laughs> Somebody's birthday? Nope, just getting ready for my firing reef party. Yeah, about that. On Reef's termination form, where it says cause for dismissal, it's blank. And your point? So, you can't fire someone without cause. Remember that girl you fired for looking at you funny? Come on! How was I supposed to know she had a lazy eye? Uh-huh. And remember how she sued? Fine, I'll just watch Reef like a hawk the minute he messes up. <laughs> Bam! Back to the Muskoka scum pond he crawled out of. Man, he really hates Reef. He hates Reef? You've had a hate on for Reef since day one. That's not true. If I hated him, why would I care if he gets fired? Well, you'd better help him not get fired. I've never seen Bummer this pumped to give someone the axe. No, 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 no! The marching band is for after he's fired! After! To pull in a fast one and getting a fast car. Reefster a rules! Reef, Bummer's totally going to fire you. Duh, he says that every day. No, for real this time, on Mr. Ridgemount's orders, see? It's a Reef firing party. Appetizers at 6, throwing darts at Reef's picture at 6.30. <laughs> Daddy must have found out we didn't break up and I kept the car anyway. But how? That's, uh, that's not important. What's important is we can't let Reef mess up on the job. You realize this is a Reef we're talking about? I'm right here, you know. I know. Now slide over, himbo. I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, dude, where are you? Broseph, he's a ball of whale puke. He can't hear you. Maybe, <laughs> but I can smell him. Carl, I'm coming, buddy! <laughs> he's close. Carl! Carl? Ah! You're not Carl. Here's the deal. Reef can't be fired unless he messes up. Therefore, we must make Reef the best employee ever. Whatever it takes to keep me with my lady. Aw, my sweet reef cake. My delicious lemony low cone. Ugh, can you please save it until you're alone? In the dark? Where no innocent bystanders can see? <gasps> All right, reef cake. Go time. Right before my
Carl's gone. Carl, my boy. Hey, come on now. You'll find another Carl someday. Plenty of whale puke in the sea, am I right? Carl, smell. It's coming from you. Uh, Carl who? Okay, I might have sort of given Carl a haircut. What? Just a trim, so I could buy a new wetsuit for Grumpfest. But I didn't steal him, I swear. You expect me to believe that? After you scalp my boy like a $5 barber? Brosif, I swear, I didn't. Not cool, girl. Not cool. I understand you're in pursuit of some sort of anomalous vile blob. I may have some information for a price. Spill. Rosie put it in the trash and took it to the dumpster. Wait, so sitting in a dumpster behind this resort where anyone can get at it is a ball of ambergris worth a small fortune? Oh, 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 oh yeah. yeah. Don't worry, bro. We'll find Carl. Find your secret! Give me that room's help! <laughs> dig! 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 Bummer! I told you to fire that surf bum! Don't worry, sir. Even if Reef made employee of the century, I would still find a way to fire his butt. Dudes, I'm toast. T-O-S-T. -T. Dad, Rick wants a party. Um, what sort of party, young sir? A party with games and cake and a piñata. A piñata? Ha! So lame! What's that? Making fun of the boss's boy? I, I meant lame, as in awesome? I'm bored. Bored? How do you think I feel? What's that? Talking back to the boss's boy? No, no, just, uh, partying. <laughs> What's next? Juggling? Balloon animals? Oh! Hey! Where's Rick? Rick? Rick! Don't worry. Reef will find him. I had Rick microchip in case he got lost. Great. So just show us where Rick is and Reef will go get him. He's right there. Oh, come on. I'll just start filling up this pink slip now. <laughs> I can't look. He's going to fall. Have faith, Lo. He can do it. Again, you do realize this is Reef we're talking about. <gasps> Don't worry, little fella. Everything's gonna be all... Ah! <laughs> Daddy, you can send the car back. I don't want it. Carl! I need my stinky bro, man! Carl! Jackpot! Forget the wetsuit. Let's sell this stinker and surf the world. Emma, no! No amount of money is worth a friendship. Ugh, you are such a goody two-shoes. Oh, yeah? If my shoes are so good, why don't you try them on? Ow! Hey! Yeah! How's that fit, fool? Rosef! I found him! I found Carl! Girl, you are the man! Carl says thank you. You're... What are you... Oh! Don't hang on tighter! Cha-cha! Ah! Finn! How'd you... Get up here. The stairwell? And you tell me about this now? Reef! Ow! Here's your hedgehog, sir. Rick, you're safe. Man, I'm gonna get the taste of hedgehog out of my mouth. No! no! What? Busted for stealing company property. You are fired! Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. Says who? Says me. But, but, <laughs> but, ow! Reef, I used to think you were a surf bum, a slacker who only cared about catching waves and making out with my daughter. That's not true. Reef also cares very deeply about his hair. But I was wrong. You went to the wall today, risking your neck to save the one thing that made my boy love me again. 
point is, you're eager, assertive, a real go-getter. I'd be a fool to let you go. Consider yourself not fired! But, sir, we were this close! Bomber, you could learn a thing or two from this young man. Sweet! What say you and me hit the links for a little golf action? Now you're talking, son! What? What does that mean? What did you just call him? Daddy! Broseph? I'm sorry. It was real sleazy to sell part of Carl's head. Ah, oh, good girl. Never would have found him without you. Maybe I should sell him. He is just a smelly blob of whale puke. Is there a finder's fee? How about a new wetsuit? Sweet! Of all the stupid, idiotic, great dunculus! A thing or two from Reef! Ah! What is that smell? Did I step in something? Ugh! 